Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from now to the end of January 2021. I hope you're well Sagittarius. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message or energy for the month. Okay, so I've got closure, finding closure in a situation. This is closing the door on something to move to a new path. So it feels very beautiful putting something behind you, um, being ready for the new, you know, it feels very beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is you, uh, your challenge or issue regarding money, career, finances from now to the end of January 2021. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your outcome should you take the advice and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so what do we have for Sagittarius please angel spirits guides in money and career only now to the end of January 2021 thank you what do we have for Sagittarius please that flew out <laughs> Okay, so I've got the King of Cups. The World, great card of closure as well. And your outcome, we have the Ten of Wands, which is Sagittarian energy. Okay, so let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Sagittarius, please. Money and career only now to the end of January 2021, please. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. Okay, that flew out. We have the Two of Cups. Ten of Swords, major completion here, Sagittarius, and the Ten of Wands is clarified with the Seven of Coins, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Coins, bottom of the deck, beautiful, okay, and let's clarify what this Ten of Coins is. Let's clarify what this Ten of Coins is, please. Page of coins. Beautiful. Okay, Sagittarius. So there's definitely an energy of closure, something closing off. Um, because we definitely have in this situation for money and career, the two of cups is, it can be an offer or an invitation, a bond between two people. Conversation flows easily. Um, instantly connected with somebody you know this can be in terms of I mean we see sometimes this in love but we also see this in terms of partnerships we see this in terms of um you know people who work very well together who intuitively understand each other you know it's that kind of energy so it definitely feels like I mean the two of cups can represent some kind of offer or an invitation that's bringing you joy it could be offered by this king of cups you know, this is somebody who is the success of their suit. Uh, very kind person, very caring person, a great people person. So a great leader for that reason. Very intuitive, understands people, connects to them on a deep level. So they make a great leader as a result. It's make male or female energy. I mean, this is generally a card of Scorpio for me as a reader. Could be a fellow, could be a, could be a water sign. Um, um, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but in this, in this energy, it might also be for some of you, if it's the energy of the King of Cups, you might have secretly been putting something into place here to wait. You might be waiting for some kind of offer opportunity to come from somebody, something that you've been doing under the radar, keeping your cards close to your chest. 
it can either be either setting up some kind of business here, Sagittarius, maybe business partnership even, or could be to do with some kind of job opportunity. But it definitely feels that somebody is going to give you some kind of offer this month. Though again, as a challenge position, it just feels like maybe it's not materialised as quickly as you wanted it to. Because there's definitely a sense of waiting here. But the closure is coming. And that's what Spirit is telling you. And you know, this is an opportunity or an invitation for you that will bring you happiness. And it feels like where there hasn't been happiness because the Ten of Swords isn't a happy energy, but it is a Ten, which is a completion. Again, it can be a closure card. The, this, this can be about loss, so it could be to do with loss. Loss in terms of money, career finances. can be to do with betrayal, um, being stabbed in the back. Call it what you will. So it, it feels in this energy that whatever this was, it's coming to a close. And that's what Spirit is telling you. There's a new day, a new dawn rising in the distance. You can see the sun is beginning to break through the clouds in the background. And it's, it's putting the darkness or pushing the darkness to, you know, to recede. Because the world is a major ending, a major completion. But it is a card of success worldly success the steps that you've been taking what you've been doing and it feels like maybe covertly for some of you you are going to be victorious you are going to be successful you are going to win through ready to step through to a new phase of your life and that's what this closure card is all about major completions happening this month for you and it feels like you're finding the path you know the path that you need to be on now you're closing one door ready to open another I love that energy because it's a real sense of achievement and accomplishment, you know? So I love the energy here. It's not been an easy time. Saturn in Sagittarius, it's not been an easy time, you know, Sagittarius. You've been tested. You felt the pressure. You felt the burden. You felt the weight on your shoulders. I mean, this is very much modelled on Atlas, who had the world on his shoulders. So it definitely feels in this energy that you felt like that because things weren't materialising as quickly as you wanted them to. And again, there's a feeling between both of these cards. You've worked so hard, but something again, another 10, is about to complete. And again, the Seven of Pentacles is just keep on persevering a bit longer because for some of you, there is some kind of breakthrough coming. There is definitely a breakthrough coming with this world card. A major breakthrough. Oh my goodness, this is a major breakthrough. Because you break the thing that you've been testing. Sorry, the thing that you've been tested, I should say. The thing that has tested you for a period of time. You are breaking it. You are breaking the cycle here. And... Again, perseverance, patience, good things come to those that wait. That's the seven of coins. So for some of you, there's definitely an energy of, yes, I know, you know, you've, it's taken longer than it needed to. Again, Saturn, Saturnian energy here. But the great energy is that the offer, the opportunity is coming. Page of Pentacles, the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And the pages can be messengers. So can be news to do with an opportunity. And again, offer, this can be news, opportunity, um, financial career opportunities in particular. Can also be a card of manifesting a new path. So maybe connects to this partnership idea that I was, I was talking about before as well. Um, but this is the beginnings of the new. This heralds in the beginning of a new period. So there's definitely an energy of persevere, but greater reward is coming your way because we have the Ten of Pentacles. Financial wealth, financial security, career success, abundance, not just for you, but for your family. But the Ten of Coins is how you have been aligning and whether you realized it or not you have been in this process of aligning to the path that you need to be on and now for some of you this month you are definitely able to close one door 
and find the path to the beginnings of something that is going to bring great reward success. It might well be you're getting more money. It might well be uh, there's greater responsibility. I mean, the Ten of Coins is goal achievement, as is the World card. So this is achieving the goal, but it's taken a while, most definitely. There have been delays. You've definitely felt the test. But what this Saturnian energy has taught you, Sagittarius, will equip you for this new beginning. It will, whatever you've had to learn along the way here, it was meant for a reason. So it has taught you greater experience to bring greater achievement long term. So a powerful, powerful energy here. Lovely energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Sagittarius, please. Final message for Sagittarius, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. So we have Wolf, Heart Medicine, let go of that which does not serve your highest good. This is definitely, if you're holding on to things from the past, let them go, make space for the new. And I definitely feel that energy of some kind of, of breakthrough, turning point is on the cards here because it feels very beautiful. But there's a level of, of patience, perseverance, determination, but nevertheless, there is success, goal achievement at the end of this. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.